So many have arrived. I think we all got the time right this morning. <laughs> Thank you, praise and worship team. I know I was getting calls early this morning. Don't remember to set your clocks forward. Well, praise God. What a beautiful day. Yesterday was an, was an incredibly gorgeous day. Felt like spring, which is unusual for the valley. Some beautiful songs this morning. So how's everybody feeling? Does it feel like spring? Does it feel like you're ready to start a, a new season? Here, I, I, need to, I guess I need to put this in my pocket. This is so the camera can follow me around. All right. So I'd like to open up this morning with some testimonies. Does anybody have a praise report they'd like to share with the family? Don't be shy. God's always doing something good. Yeah? Anybody? Well, I have, I have a small, small praise report. Uh, we're moved into our home, our new home. Yeah, that was, uh, that, was, uh, that, was, um, that was interesting. We'd been in the same place for, I don't know, 10 or 12 years um, since we arrived here in Walla Walla. And... Uh, Packing and moving and then unpacking. That, the unpacking is still going on, but you know, with with a uh, with my beautiful wife and uh, she's expecting our our daughter in May, and with a three year old running around, and it's hard to get anything done. Focus on a business and a career, and you know, she the same. Uh, working from home, we've been really blessed in this season. Uh, my wife, uh, she works for Chaplaincy Healthcare in Tri Cities, and they allow her to work remotely, uh, almost 100% from from home. So that uh, that's a huge blessing, um, and so we're just grateful, and I'm grateful to be here uh, in front of you this this morning. So uh, to get started, we have a few announcements, and then we'll dismiss the children. And I think um, Sarah would also like to come up at some point, and I'll call her up as well. We're going to talk about some other things. So if you're new to Grace, I would love to welcome you um, and also connect with you. We have a, 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 um, <clears throat> a communication card in the seat back in front of you. And also you can check in with us online as well. Um, come, come to uh, Grace Church Walla Walla. Uh, download our app. Um, Try it in, you can find it in the app store. Um, my sermon notes, just enter the zip code and or our church code is CWYZ. Uh, you can open up sermon notes in our app and get um, you know, a fuller uh, picture of uh, that morning's sermon. Unfortunately, I didn't prepare any sermon notes for this morning, but um, you can go back in our, in, in our archive and pull up just about any sermon that we have. Uh, but you must be signed in to use the app. Uh, to use it to its fullest potential. Monday nights from 5 to 6.30 p.m., we have prophetic prayer in the fellowship hall. Uh, please come. Uh, it is a, a great time of soaking in the Lord. Also, on Friday nights, we have Celebrate Recovery. Um, it's a Christ-centered recovery program. It's not just for those in individuals with uh, uh, suffering from a substance use disorder. Uh, it's also for those of us that are grieving, those of us that may have... Uh, uh, toxic relationships in our life and you'd like to find uh, a forever family that you can uh, walk through that with uh, please come to celebrate recovery at celebrate recovery <clears throat> is uh, at 5 30 p.m. on Friday nights uh, dinner is served from 5 30 to 6 15 and from 6 15 to 7 p.m. we have either a testimony or a live uh, group large group lesson and those alternate week by week. The program is approximately 26 weeks long, or excuse me, 52 weeks long. Um, so it is, it is definitely a commitment. But we also know that you know, long-term, you know, diving deeply into uh, life's hurts, habits, and hang-ups uh, is really the only way to pull them out and expose them to the light of God. At 7 p.m., we have small groups, uh, men's life issues groups and women's life issues groups, so please come. You can find uh, uh, they're gender-specific, so uh, um, there's plenty of opportunity for you uh, to come and share. Also, uh, Saturday night, 
uh, prayer night. It's here in the sanctuary from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Uh, next week, I think it is. Is that right? Yep. Next Saturday morning, 7 a.m., men's breakfast. I think we're going to be at the Blue. Yeah, it says right there. The Blue. We're going to go to the Blue. They have great breakfast there. Mr. Ed's. Do you guys remember Mr. Ed's that was out in Eastgate? Um, their entire staff moved over to the Blue. So whatever you used to eat at Mr. Ed's before they closed, you can now find at the Blue. And they're hearty breakfasts. So come hungry. Um, Thursday nights from 6 to 8 p.m. on March 30th through May 4th at the Jones House. We are having, what are we having? What on earth are, am I here for? That's what we're having. Do we know? Do we know what we're here for? What are we here for? Come on now, it's a test. Yeah, we're here for God. We're here for Jesus Christ. We're here to spread the good news of the gospel, right? That's what we're here for. <laughs> yes, we are. I should put my glasses on. It'll make it much easier to read from here than it'd be from up there. Okay. I think that covers our announcements for this morning. At this point, I'd like to dis dismiss the little ones, kitties, skittles, littles, children, rugrats, kraken. Oh, yes, and then I'd like to bring Sarah up. Yeah. So we have a meal train set up for the Fetter family. Um, uh, Cheryl just lost her husband, and her son, Jeremy, lives with them. And so we're providing just a meal for two. And we're just doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, for the next couple of weeks. And so that starts tomorrow. Um, it was going to start last week, but they, they ended up needing to go out of town. And so as they're trying to adjust to life without a husband and a father, this is a great tangible way for us to bless those within our church body. And things... Um, for them were really rough. He felt really bad for quite some time. And so I, I think this is quite an adjustment for them. Um, and so I have a meal train um, set up for them with a link and everything. It came out this week via email. If you didn't receive that email, um, I'm happy to forward that to you. And um, they do have a few specifics about um, they're vegan and are, and are allergic to eggs. And so... I can honestly say that I'll be looking up a recipe for them because I don't know how to cook for that, but I will figure it out, and my husband will help me. He, he was, <laughs> he has more experience than me with that. And so, anyway, I just want to encourage you, this is a great way for us as a, as a grace body to, to bless those that are going through a really hard time. And so, hopefully... We'll see them soon here back in service. Thanks. Thank you, Sarah. At this time, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. David Hufford to come receive the offering. Woohoo, Dave! Woohoo! You call it forth and it comes. <laughs> No, no. So here we have a, a blessing up here. Lord, as we give today, we are believing you for heaven opened, earth invaded, storehouses unlocked, and mir miracles created, healings, salvations, and divine manifestations. Positions and promotions, provisions and resources to go to the nations, souls and more souls, yes, Lord, generations, saved and set free, carrying kingdom revelation. Thank you, Father, that as I join my value system to yours, you will show our favor, blessings and increase upon me so that I will have more than enough to co-labor with heaven to see Jesus get his full reward. Amen. And just everybody, in Malachi, it says, test me. That's God speaking to his people. Have you tried that? 